hello this is my friend and welcome to another one if you're a graphic designer and you want to learn how to quickly add 3d text into your designs for free then please take along for this tutorial let's go so the software we are going to use is blender it's absolutely free you can head over to their website to grab yourself a copy so to start this the when you open up blender this is the screen that you have visited with so to start you go to new file and then general so you'll be greeted with a queue a light and then a camera right uh by the way you can see my screen sh uh, shortcuts here and this corner here so every key i press will be shown here next um so you'll be greeted with your lights your camera and then a default cube so we are not going to need the light so i'll select the light and then the cube i'll hit x now hit delete okay so to move around your viewport if you hold the middle mouse you, you'll be able to rotate around your viewport when you scroll in you'll be able to zoom in and out if you want to pan You hold shift plus the middle mouse you'll be able to pan around your viewport next let's add our test so to add a new object you will do shift a and then here are the objects you'll be able to add by default so i'll go to text now so i'm scrolling to zoom in so this my test is flat on the on the plane so we are in the object mode to edit this test we have to go to the edit mode here and now we can backspace and then type whatever we want so i'm going to type simple for this one simple like this so you can change back to your object mode for a minute if you want to make some changes else everything you type or any shortcut you type will be type will be recognized as a text so since we have our text here, we can come to our object data property. So in this case, it's for the text. So this is the data properties for this text. So the, what you are, what you want to do first is to change the font. To do that, you come to here, which says font, and then on the first one, we click on this object to open our font folder. So this directory is the folder for you where you save all your fonts. So you can obviously scroll through to find the font that works best for you for me i'm going to go with Arial black a thick bold black font like this Arial black so i hit open font and then my font will be changed okay so next what we have to do is to rotate it so that our text instead of lying down flat it will stand up so to do that we'll hit r for rotate and then hit x and then we we'll hit 90 so that we rotate it x on the x axis 90 degrees next let's add some some obviously we want 3d so let's add some geometry to it so to do that we will come to our object data property once again to the geometry tab and then we go extrude so we add some extrude so i'm going to add 0 0.35 i think it's fine for me yeah so you have some extrusion going on if we want to edit our text even more there we can, we can come to our font our paragraph and we can change it from we can change the alignment from left to center to right justify and and the rest okay so you can see now the text have moved to the center as the point of origin is directly in the center we can increase our spacing character spacing if that's what we want i'm going to leave it at one for now we can increase our word spacing and then in the line spacing as well so next let's give it some some bevel so that our font can catch some lights to make it a little bit more nice to do that we go to our geometry once again we come to our bevel then we increase the depth of our bevel 
just a little bit yeah i think it's fine for me or it's fine for me you can increase the resolution if you want but the higher the resolution goes the more time to take to render yeah so i think it works best for me i like the bevel you can obviously play around with it and find something that works best for you let's quickly add our our back background so to do that we do shift a then we go to mesh plane and we have a simple plane we do s and then we drag our mouse to scale it up a bit so we jump into the edit mode we make sure our select mode is active we select this back here then we do e for extrude we extrude it in the z axis like this we select this one we do ctrl p to bevel we scroll our mouse wheel to add more cuts to make it infinite so next we tab out of edit mode we right click and we do shade smooth to smoothing it out like this okay so i'm going to go to my front view like this i'll select this sample here i'll do shift d to add a duplicate i'll move it up on the z axis to somewhere here then i'll select this one i'll tab into edit mode to make our test editable once again we delete and then let's type 3d text you can type whatever you want obviously this one i'm going with in this tutorial after i'm done i will jump out of edit mode once again i'll select this text i'll do s to scale it so that it's properly aligned to the text under next let's do g z and bring it down a bit like this so as you can see as i scale this text is a bit in front so we can do g and then y and then we can bring it back a bit like this okay so i have my simple 3d text next let me bring this background down a bit as you can see it's clipping into our 3d text so we do g z and then we bring it down a bit like this okay next let's add our materials and camera and then render so I'll, I'll drag here to bring another workspace like this and then i'll hold this side and drag up to bring another workspace like this and let's change this workspace to change the editor and let's click on this icon here to make the camera active so that we view through the, our camera let's hit n to bring this menu here let's go to view and let's lock let's lock our camera to view okay nice and simple so now let's change our render engine from ev to cycles and let's change that device to dpu gpu compute so that we can see how our, our final image will look like here so let's scroll and then let's change from viewport shading to render next let's quickly add an hdri so to get an hdri you change from object to world view okay so i'll select i'll select this node here by clicking on it like this i'll do ctrl t if nothing comes make sure you have your node wrangler add-on enabled if you don't you can watch previous my previous videos i'll show you how to enable them so you go to open and then hdri so you find your hdri you can download a lot of them from hdri even for free i'm going to leave a link in the description below so we select our hdri we hit open to add our hdri so if you zoom out like this so this is the hdri and this is what is being what is giving lighting up our scene here so i'll zoom in once again I'll zoom in once again so next let's select our background let's change it to object let's quickly add a metallic material so i'll, I'll change the metallic to one and the base color we are going to change it to a darker version of let's say red like this 
and next let's change our simple let's give it a, a base color of white it's fine and let's change it to metallic as well and then let's change our base 3d to something like this you can play around with it obviously find what works best for you as you can see the more you experiment the more you learn next i'm going to turn i'm going to click on this button to hide all my overlays so that i can see my tests very well so i'll, I'll go to my background once again and i'm going to increase the roughness a bit so that we get a little bit of reflection on the on the background as you can see yeah so next let's add let's add some lights to make it more interesting so i've added my lights here my area lights i'll do g now place it somewhere around here i'll do s to scale it up and then if you come here we can increase the power of the light so i'll go with thousand watts and we can increase the lights like this and you can change the color of the lights to give it more dynamism as you can see so next we can duplicate the lights to this side once again i'm holding g i'm hitting on g to move my light i can point it to my 3d text like this we can change the color to somewhere here and our 3d test is ready for render so to render you can make sure your render engine is set to cycles and your denoise is turned on so we go to render and then render image so your image will be rendered after it's rendered i'll quickly show you how you can render this image uh, as a png a transparent png without the background so this is my final render as you can see it's looking nice so to save this render you will go to image save us and then you locate where you want to save your final image and then you do save image and it will be saved okay so quickly if you want to render this as a, as a png as a transparent png what you have to do is we first have to hide our background our plane so we click on this icon here and then we click on this one as well next let's hide our hdri to do that we go to our world properties here and then we go to our real visibility and we uncheck our camera okay so now we've hidden our hdri so to render the background as transparent we will go to our render properties once again and we go down to our film and then we take transparent so as you can see everything is now transparent and we go to our render once again we do render image so the image will be rendered as transparent with all the lights and everything as well so as you can see the image is rendered as transparent so to save it we go to image then we do save us once again and then we make sure we have file format set to png and then it's set to rgba you can change the color depth to 16 bit if you want and then we hit save and then our final transparent image is saved thank you very much for watching if you want to support this channel please consider subscribing and leave a like see you on the next one peace out